Okay, let's move to chapter three. We're going to talk about decision-making heuristics. Heuristic, is, again, is a word that simply means rules of thumb. So we're going to talk the first one, uh, talk about the first one, bounded rationality. This was uh, coined by Herbert uh, Simon in 1978. He wrote a book called Models of My Life, uh, which has a lot of models in it. Obviously, this course has quite a bit of uh, models that you want to um, uh, internalize uh, to be able to make good decisions. Um, this particular theory is one of my uh, favorites. It says when individuals make decisions, their rationality is limited by the tractability of the decision problem, the cognitive limitations of their mind, and the time available to make the decision. In other words, think you've got your blinders on. You can't see everything. So the uh, tractability of the decision problem is the difficulty in handling it, the limitations of your mind are your ability to think through it, and of course the time that you have to um, learn more about the problem and to uh, learn more about yourself and the circumstances by which you need to make the decision. So we are rational, we make uh, decisions in most cases that are fairly rational. Unfortunately, we don't have all the information, so what can seem rational to one person is not rational uh, to another. Um, in this theory, uh, he goes on to suggest that people in many different situations uh, seek something that is good enough. In other words, what we do is shortcut. We have a heuristic, a rule of thumb, where uh, we look at the information we have available. Remember, we talked uh, previously about availability heuristics, or the availability of information influencing our decisions, as opposed to doing our due diligence and finding historical or other information. And so... The example here is when you're in shopping mode, you aspire to find something acceptable, although it might not be the most uh, attractive or optimal option. Uh, this is probably true of uh, investment strategies, of you know, every, cell phone plans, uh, vacation plans. Uh, there's so many choices. We talk about the paradox of choice in a different mode, but there's so many choices that uh, we kind of want to just move along the, the fastest we can, the easiest we can. And so it seems rational to uh, just uh, seek what is good enough that this is acceptable and move on. Um, so to ask questions of bounded rationality, to see how bounded we actually are, we want to take the blinders off as best we possibly can, recognizing we will never have all the information. Uh, so the questions you may ask are, what information do you have? Uh, are you seeking or do you seek more information? Uh, what is available? What do others have? These would be uh, typical questions to see if you could expand your uh, knowledge of the situation to make a better decision. So to unbound the rationality, in other words, to open up your, uh, take the blinders off and open up your eyes to uh, more than what you can see right in front of you. This is a uh, classic decision making uh, uh, parameter, uh, one that you definitely should put into your plan. I, I think of bounded rationality as one of the classic theories uh, that I don't have full information. What information am I missing? Is it easily obtainable? Have I done my due diligence or am I just uh, being, I hate to say lazy, but uh, just taking a shortcut and saying, I know what the answer is, let's just go with that. Uh, sometimes we don't even want to ask other people because we've made up our mind and other people might bring things up, which uh, makes it more complicated to make our decision. So bounded rationality is uh, a main theory. Uh, begins our discussion in Chapter 3 here. Herbert Simon is the author, Nobel Prize winner. Uh, very important theory.